G'day all, Jacko here from Music Nation. Welcome to the channel and hope everybody's well. Today we are looking at the Focion 2 from D16 Group. This is their brand new uh, reintroduction of the original, um, which was a clone of the Roland TB303. And uh, this is more like an expansion than a clone. It does clone, but it's uh, it's got a lot, lot more to be offered now, which you'll see in a second. So um, we have a full written review of the Focian 2 over on Music Nation now, so feel free to shoot over there and have a read of that, and you'll find a lot more kind of in-depth information. Today I'm going to show you how, using Bitwig Studio here, I can get a really nice big fat sound and a big fat kind of side trancey sound, um, reminiscent of Rebirth. If you remember that, the, the OG kind of soft synth, you know, from Propellerhead that kind of got litigated out of existence, unfortunately. But um, you can still kind of get the similar sound with Ocean and, and a few other bits and pieces. So Rebirth had two TB303 bass lines and it had a 909 drum machine and an 808. So D16 do both those, the 909, which I have here. I've just kind of installed it and kind of come up with a real simple kind of drum beat reminiscent of Psytrance I guess or Rebirth and um, so you could also put in like a 808 as well to kind of get that kind of Rebirth kind of uh, percussion sound you know which would be fun but uh, today I really want to focus on the Focion so let's bring that in. So fantastic piece of software having so much fun with it um like i said it's it's it does clone the 303 but it, it's really like this is the 303 section here everything else is added so it does a lot more than just that which is super super cool um but today we're going to be talking about doing some kind of a trancey thing so i'm going to be ignoring basically everything i don't want to use any of these effects i'm going to turn off the reverb i'm not going to use any of the expansion stuff so we're going to be working on the um pattern sequencing down here or the piano roll they call it uh, and the effects. Now if you don't see the piano roll, come down to the GUI button down here and you'll see in sequence view you can change it. So it might be on this view here. This is the uh, the original um, step sequencer look. We don't want to use that. We're going to go piano roll for reasons you'll see in a second. Now first off, unfortunately there is no way of splitting the delay on this which is a bit of a bummer because the original Rebirth, if you remember, you could actually pan the delay left and right and each of the TB303s left and right because there were two of them, right? So you can't do that, unfortunately, with this. So we need to kind of fake it. So inside um, Bitwig here, we're going to do a little bit of uh, trickery. We're going to add in a channel splitter, which is down here. Chuck that right in right there. Did I do it? Yeah, there we go. So now you'll see we have left and right coming out there. So in the right-hand channel, I'm going to chuck in a delay unit. And you don't need anything flash, just a simple delay. This one here, delay one will do. Chuck that right on top of there. So now you'll see that the right hand channel is going to this delay unit. Um, thirds is good. We want to keep it not filtered, so full that and bring the feedback quite a bit back. So now we should get a nice wide, very nice, and bring that mix 100%. There we go. You don't want too much feedback because the original uh, Rebirth didn't have that much feedback. Something like that. Okay, so there we have a fairly plain Jane kind of rebirthy sound just coming through one TB303. So let's get into the fun part. So, okay, first off, this pattern sequence here it is such a clever little thing that you want to kind of um, learn. So it has two sections here, edit and random. First off, we're going to go to random. This is where really the magic happens. You'll see there is a draw button right here in the middle which is effectively randomization but it's not it's more than that it kind of means um i see it more like like a lottery draw right so it draws out of the bucket a bunch of stuff and then you can define how much of that you want so each of these dials down here allows you to dial up the amount of randomization that you get if that kind of makes sense so and over here anything that's red means it's going to be drawn or randomized so say slide accent you can they can will be randomized. Okay, so if I push draw now, you'll see it just comes up with a kind of a thing, a pattern, which is mostly useless for us. So what we want to be doing for a nice trance bass line is that we just want one single note, right? So let's get rid of everything other than one note. So this note here, which is an F. So now it's only going to draw a single note. There it is there. And the note, slider, note dial you see is halfway. So if I brought this back, you'll see it reduces the amount of notes. 
And if I take it all the way up, it adds them all in, which is what we want for trance music. That's more like it. So same thing here with the slide. So let's say the slide button. I'll just bring the slide and the accent back to zero. So it's no slide or accent. So all we're looking at here now is a single note and then these octave things here. It's quite good. Happy with that. So we'll bring in the slide. Maybe try the accent. So you can see already we're getting some great groove happening just by mucking around with the, the randomization features. So let's say you're not happy with something. Say this accent just isn't quite doing it for you. Just unselect everything else, including the slide. So just the accent is now red, which means it's the only thing going to be randomized. So I'll redraw the accent. Okay, so now we have a new selection that we can dial in. So that's how simple it is to kind of fine-tune the choice. So see what I mean? The drawer is, it's not just a random, eh? It's like a random, uh, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do another random, see what we get. This is the entire thing is going to be randomized now. Yoink. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 cool. So you can see just by mucking around with some ideas, you're going to get a whole bunch of kind of choices. Now, super cool something about this is if you find something you quite like but you don't want to kind of lose it right what you can do is export so you push export here and then drag and drop that groove directly into your door and there it is it's saved so good eh so now we can just go try something else <laughs> with that one cool so that's our pattern sorted out now in the edit mode come back here you have a really cool feature here called step length which effectively is gate so uh, this will really make the notes quite staccato especially if I just remove this slide So as you can see, just by with the pattern sequencer here, we're getting so much groove and feel here. We haven't even started playing with the actual synth itself. So um, let's leave that alone in the meantime, and let's play with the synth. So like I said, I turn off all the effects uh, for this. The yeah, you, know, you can play with it if you want, but um, this delay is all you normally really need. But the distortion here is fantastic. So we just want to concentrate on these six buttons here. So the cutoff, resonance, uh, decay, and muck with the distortion. So the ones, I like them all actually, but I found um, rats quite good. So this will dramatically change your sound. And the cool thing about it is that the cutoff and resonance actually feed into the distortion. So wherever you have the distortion set, it will actually be altered by the amount of filter that you open up. Let me show you. Okay, I'm going to open up the cuddle. Hear that? It's like saturating the hell out of that distortion. It's so good. So you can see how the distortion really factors in with the entire sound. So the dynamics here is a compressor. It's a single dial compressor, and it smooths it out. Um, I don't usually like it that smooth. I like it quite kind of raunchy sounding. So check that. So it's quite smooth here, right? It's a lot rougher and harder there. It's 
try uh, this bias overdrive is nice. <laughs> See, so the the connection between these two is, is is all you need, especially with this delay running. Um, you can just get so much out of this this device; it's amazing. So we're running just as in uh, square wave too. So we go the saw wave. Too. The drive just adds so much character. I find the uh, the diode a little bit kind of thin. It's a cool, it's a cool sound, but it's you know if you like that nice big fat kind of. So good. Okay, you can see how easy it is going to get lost in this this machine, eh? So so all of this is dictated to by what happens down here. So. So this is the tonal side of it, and of course this is the groove side of it, so you can really get... Kind of nice, kind of staccato -y. Real bounce, and then we'll bring the gate up a bit. Lengthen the map. And bring in some of that slide. Let's bring back the notes, get a bit of a... Because at the moment we're running 16th, right? So I'll bring back these notes a wee bit. Let's just do a randomization, see what we get. So, oh my god, it's just days and days of kind of mucking with this. And the great thing about it, like I said, you can export these, so when you find something cool, just export it and you've saved it. Um, for performance, just so nice. If um, if you're running a MIDI keyboard of any just like decent quality, it's got, say, six or eight kind of dials on it. Um, I've got a Yamaha Montage here. Let me just go into remote mode. And you can program all these kind of uh, MIDI controllers, right? So let's, obviously you want to do cutoff would be a good one. So you go learn, is it there, learn. There we have, got them. And then resonance, yes, learn. Uh, okay, thank you. And I won't worry about those ones. Drive, yes, please, learn you. Okay. Um, that's good. Let's learn the step length here. Good. And let's go into here and learn the note. One and we'll learn the slide and we'll learn the accent. So, so all of these now are on, on controllers on my keyboard here. Just so much, and let's say that it's a little bit higher, just transpose it down a wee bit.
Oh boy, boy, boy. See, yeah, I just lose myself and it's so much fun. So I will leave it there. So I, I think you guys get the gist of what's going on here. Of course, if you're doing a proper rebirth copy, you want to have two of these running, right? One for the melody, one for the bass line. Um, and oh boy, it could get it could get nasty. <laughs> so definitely go check out uh, Focion 2 from D16 Group. It's about to be released in this month. Fantastic software. And uh, we have a full review, of course, over musicnation.co.nz. Um, we are a New Zealand music channel, in fact, but all are welcome. We love our international fans and friends, so do come over. And thanks so much for watching the video, and we'll see you on the next one. See you, bye.